Dear students, today we are going to talk about cultural heritage in between of past and present. The questions of intervention into historically valuable environment are very important in terms of creating cultural landscape. If we look at this protection of historically really valuable environment, it's usually um, applied in urban units, especially monument zones or monument reserves. And how to regulate the interventions? It's a question for special planning documentation and it's it's really in hands of the people and experts and special 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 planning but today we will see some really um, construction or we will talk about some construction that are trying to put together the past and the present and to make it very functional and to protect buildings uh, in authentic environment. It's easy to demolish, it's easy to destroy and it's easy to remove. You need just some tools, you need some heavy machines and you can destroy something what was built and uh, made by some people you never met or you never know about. But the transformation of existing structures as uh, needs really planning and the primary primary goal is to continue and maybe the function from the past into present if it's possible sometimes it's not possible and sometimes you need to get new a new function to such a construction I will be once again a little bit more general. Um, I will make a quotation, I will tell you a quotation of one uh, Czech author, his name is Halik, and he says that modern civilization brings practical conveniences at the same time with its materiality, schemacity and rawness it's perceived as a treat to the experienced emotional ties to the environment. Sometimes when we start to think about new constructions or about mm, this uh, really interventions into historical centers, let's say, or historical structures, we think it in very raw sense. I mean, like we want to do something, with, but we forget the emotions of people who lives in the environment and who has these special ties to the place. So that's also a question. If we build or if we, the character of the place is, if it's more important, the function and the future usefulness of the place or we take into consideration also the relation to this inhabitants or visitors or people who are in touch with this environment every day a sharp wave of transformation is passing through the historical course of our cities Controversial realizations are multiplying, whose evaluations from the point of view of monuments and from the point of view of architectural creative differ diametrically from each other. The question of relationship between new and historical architecture opens up the question of monument in the current urban environment. It's once again a quotation from Czech author Halik, who says that what we see from the point of view of monument, it's not what we see from the point of view of architect or creative um, creative manager or um, urban planner who wants to maybe rebuild completely 
the form of the city and as you know from the past there were many many different opinions in my presentation you can see a photo of paris and the famous uh, part uh, that is called la defense it's very modern part of city with skyscrapers and so on but many years ago there was in 20th century very famous architect um, le corbusier who wanted to completely change the the form of Paris. He wanted to completely recreate the streets, the buildings, but it was not very successful and he was not supported. But if we look back back into uh, the past, we see in the 19th century big transformation of Paris thanks to the Napoleon III and uh, Osman, Osman, who was uh, a prefect of this of the city, so they were successful in changing the face of Paris. Le Corbusier was not was not successful, but what will be in the future, you never know. And to find and to be careful in in really um, new forms new performances and uh, changes in society and and in city it's a um, it's a huge um, problem i have in my presentation also a photo from slovakia it's a photo of our old castle near bratislava the capital and then there is a, there is a house and it's it's connected together because it's on one photo, but oh, why I decided to put it into presentation. It's very easy because you can see very old construction. It's, let's say, a ruin and a new construction made of wood. And I am asking if you see the coexistence of both together. Because in one place you can see a part of old times and new times. It's the same with another photo. There is um, there is a row and there are antique monuments. And especially in case of Rome, it's very nice to see how the city can coexist, how the old city, how old city can coexist with the modern city and why this old city is not um, it's, it's just it's just a ruin um, when it lost functions why people are not living and were not mm, in i don't know just did not uh, make something to to restore it why it's better to have an iron to see antique ruins than to live in antique ruins it's an open question for you and the third photo is about uh, it's all there is uh, opera in france in lyon and it's a construction there is old building with a new roof and it's nice to see how the old building can be revitalized by a new element. So if we look at the development of urban architecture, it reflects usually the development of urban prosperity and prestige, especially historic buildings from specific periods. And especially in the 20th century, it was a period of rapid growth of cities towards the periphery and also the interference of new construction in the original structures. This creates the cultural landscape around us. Even you don't want to um, explore every building or every piece of uh, culture architecture. Um, this makes uh, what the environment we live in. And what more, at, from the 20th century, it's maybe the aesthetic form is not so important as the function of the building. It's called functionalism. You, I'm sure you ever heard about this, um, this uh, let's say, architect 
artistic, architectonic um, style or direction. It was incorporating new materials, construction, and it was a fight, let's say, between tradition and convention. The result of such a functionalism you can see, for example, in a glass house in Brno, in Czech Republic. This was, there is a movie you can watch. It's about, uh, it's um, based on a novel written. And the place, the scene is this uh, glass house. And the function was, let's say, more important than other aspects of living. So this is interesting to to see and to understand. And if you have a chance to go to Brno, I would like to recommend you to go to Villa to Canhat because it's a very special place and it shows you how um, really functionalism can and could uh, look like. Uh, but if we go back to this topic and if we see the contemporary society, um, there is a quotation one again. Uh, it's about uh, about building and one beautiful building will not save a poor housing estate, but one disgusting house can kill the soul of, the soul of a proud city. There are many new visions and new plans for the future constructions in the cities. Um, once, yeah, you have a photo of uh, Moscow, uh, how is it planned for the future? And I'm sure that in, uh, in every city, not only in Europe, but in um, all the world, we try to solve the same problems and it's the problem of the soil. We do not have enough place to make new buildings. This means that the buildings have to go to high, not be low. And this is why um, skyscrapers are still very popular. This is why uh, we try to accommodate a lot of people at one place. This is why um, cities have to really rebuild old buildings to give them new roofs and to make them higher and higher. And it's going all around the world because we cannot go to, to space, to open cities. Even that it's going, we have really big agglomer agglomeration but it's connected with the problems of traffic, services, and of course the mm, conditions, living conditions. You can imagine that the air in the city is not very pure and uh, there are many other problems that are connected with this. Uh, and if we go back to the topic of coexistence of old and modern. Uh, the question is if it's a good idea to do so much to uh, restore the old and to make a new construction um, that is a part of this old structure. And if it's really I can see nice if it's really useful and if you see the effects. Many architects really worked on this uh, and work on this topic. I'm not architect, but I really admire architect Zaha Hadid, who made uh, such construction in Antwerp. And uh, she really tried to design the architecture of the future and uh, she mm, get really very modern approach to construction because the buildings are not or should, does not need to be built of traditional materials they can be built of new very modern uh, constructing i don't know what 
but really it's it's interesting to see how, how far can we go to our in our thinking about this so the questions at the end of this presentation i prepared for you several questions i will be happy if you can uh, reply or give me answers and maybe i would suggest to send me by email after passing this uh, this uh, presentation the first question is what do you think where the new architecture is going how do you see the trends how you see especially in your local case because it's it's really diverse and that's not the same in our our let's say nations it's quite different where do you see the future construction what do you think what form it will it's going to be what materials are going to be used and if you believe that people would be able to leave the traditional building estates and i think that to um, make some words at the end of presentation uh, we can see some examples of coexistence of old and modern and in our cities we sometimes see how it does not work well uh, why it's not working well i was talking about culture and industry and culture heritage and industry and uh, culture heritage as a product to be to be sell and this is exactly what i'm talking about if you have a building a culture heritage and if you want to make a culture product from this building it means that you have to completely reconstruct it and to give a new function or new functions in plural and then you have to sell it somehow if you respect some values it's it's fine sometimes you do not respect anything and there are some local let's say authorities they have their own plans with such place and there are also developers who wants to get money from this so the i'm i'm going back to this presentation because it's it's very very uh no there is not a big difference uh, between protecting and and reconstructing in terms of if we protect it to re reconstruct it to sell it we completely forgot the question of our identity and and values I do not want to be very negative at the end of this presentation, but not everything can be for sale and not everything can be for fun. And that's maybe the end of my presentation. Thank you once again for your attention and I'm here to answer your questions. And please do not forget to go to or to work with my worksheet. Thank you.